session first. Okay. Sure, if you'd like, I can provide an overview from yep. sure. where we were Wednesday to uh, last Wednesday where we are today. So for Hampshire management, uh, as we went into the town board meeting um, on the 14th, there was a resolution that was, was draft and uh, was before the town board and it, it included, with respect to North Washington Avenue, uh, limited restricted movements um, to and from Central Avenue if subsequently approved by the town board upon recommendation from the police chief uh, and what that resolution did was had the driveway at North Washington being built for emergency purposes only um, so that was what the draft resolution had uh, with respect to North Washington just as a reminder the Dalewood uh, included also, also included limited movement driveway to and from Central, but that would be able to be accessed by uh, just general customers at, at the site as well as for emergency purposes. And that was what was posted for last Wednesday. That is indeed what was posted. Okay. Um, we did hear from the the applicant who um, had requested um, a potential modification to the North Washington component of the project, and that request. Um, essentially asked for flexibility at the discretion of the applicant to either build or not build the emergency driveway um, to North Washington Avenue. So they submitted some language um, which was circulated. I have it here. Um, and if there's any questions on that, I'm happy to answer that. Also, you know, obviously the applicant is here. Um, and I think that's where we stand at this point. Um, Good morning, Richard Pearson with JMC. Uh, also, one other aspect um, was that the draft resolution had suggested a supermajority uh, concurrence by the town board of the uh, police chief's recommendation in the future if the police chief was to recommend that the driveway on North Washington Avenue be opened for customer traffic or full operation except with the limited turns and we had requested that that be changed to majority rather than supermajority. I would not support that. Uh, you know, I, I basically feel that, uh, you know, I can support a compromise with the Dalewood. Um, you know, I'm, I don't believe in uh, you know, basically, you know, the gimmicks, you know, we basically are saying that North Washington won't be open, and, you know, I basically will fight to keep it closed. Uh, you know, my personal feeling is that um, the better option to me would be, um, you know, not to do anything on North Washington. I think there was a discussion, you know, during the past week that there would be no access on North Washington. You could do the Dalewood. Uh, we have a memo from the police chief indicating that you know, the, if the Dale would, um, you know, access, you know, you know that he feels that that's adequate. Uh, you don't need, um, you know, the, t the two um, two accesses. And, um, you know, I feel that, you know, I just don't want to make North Washington a commercial, um, you know, street. You know, I think that it's, there's a lot of traffic right now. There's a lot, you know, to me, you know, the road is very, very windy. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, even if they, if you do, you know, make it a little straighter, I still think the road is 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 a, is a dangerous road for to have a lot more cars on. So I, I, I would, you know, I would not support um, this proposal if the supermajority is is taken out of it. Have, you, you, seen, know, have you seen the memo from the police chief? We have not. Okay. Well, let me read it. Uh, good evening. In discussions with Sergeant Rickson, we believe that not opening the Westchester Square proposed entrance uh, slash exit at North Washington <coughs> Avenue will not jeopardize public safety in the mall as long as a secondary <coughs> exit slash uh, entrance slash exit is open at Dalewood Drive. We believe Dalewood Drive is the preferred location for the secondary access due to its uh, greater visibility when exiting. Dalewood Drive is wider and straighter than North Washington and has less vehicular uh, volume than North Washington. 
We believe secondary access will improve safety for all patrons slash employees of the Westchester Square, all motorists on Central Avenue, and all emergency responders. The traffic and safety concerns for the south side of the mall have been mitigated by the reduction of the size of the development on that side. And we are not in favor of emergency access via North Washington without roadway improvements to North Washington, respectfully, Chief McNerney. I'll give you a copy now. Thank you. So with that, we have um, a compromise proposal, um, somewhere between what you're proposing and what we had posted for a vote last Wednesday night. And that um, takes into consideration that you don't want to do the improvements on North Washington Avenue. Uh, there's an expense to that. Uh, and the proposal is that we do nothing with North Washington Avenue um, as far as straightening the road or putting an emergency access on that side, as the chief states. Uh, but we do grant permission for the Dalewood Drive um, access. Um, and that, uh, that would be put in um, as part of the construction of the 6,000 square foot uh, building. And so if that's acceptable to you, I believe the board is prepared to vote on that. where we had, had requested the option for either building or not building the access and at this point the applicant is willing to go back to building the emergency access drive which was essentially consistent with your resolution uh, last uh, Tuesday uh, the draft resolution um, except for the supermajority and the uh, improvements being completed on would do the improvements when or if and when the driveway was open uh, for full traffic. Uh, but those were the two changes. So essentially going back to the intent of the draft resolution from, from last week um, relative to building the driveway. No, not really, because the draft re resolution from last week was to do the improvements. And the chief has made it clear that he does not believe it appropriate to do the emergency exit without doing the yeah, I, I don't understand the, the nexus for that if it's not going to be open, if it's just for emergencies. Um, the town's trip. Yeah. Well, you know, I just really want to be clear. You know, I don't want people to feel, I don't want this emergency. Sometimes in government, you know, we do things and then like six months later, uh, everybody thinks, oh, you know what, uh, the emergency access will not be an emergency because we'll figure out a way of persuading the town to, um, you know, to open up the road. You know, I, I feel that there has to be a fourth a super majority in order for me to vote. And, you know, and to me, reading the chief's comments, you know, I don't want the applicant to think that this is a gimmick and a year from now the road's going to open up because unless there's a very, very strong case, you know, made in terms of public safety with data and all that, it's not going to be open. So you, there's, you're going to be widening the road um, and the probability is it's going to stay, you know, closed and it won't be a, an access. Now, if you would prefer, you know, you know, to me, you know, the better option would be to do nothing on you know North Washington, not to have to spend the money, uh, you know, because I, I personally think if you widen the road, more cars are going to end up using it. So I, I personally don't like that idea, you know, either, because I think the whole, unless the whole North Washington is, you know, is straightened out, which it's not going to be, and you're not going to do that. I think that, you know, I, I don't see any real benefits to widening, you know. You know, I don't see benefits in terms of the, pu the public interest. You know, I, I really don't want to see that road be commercialized. We have option A. And you know, I just, I just, I'm wondering if, uh, if we could just leave, uh, you know, leave the North Washington 
as, you know, as is, you build, and then if it turns out that, um, you know, it's a, you know, it, it's a problem or whatever, you know, you could always come back sometime, you know, you know, in the future, and we can always look at, you know, make doing the emergency access. I don't want you to spend money unnecessarily. But that's contrary to your draft. Well, no, I'm just, right, I'm just, I'm giving you. I, my feeling is that if you widen the road, that's going to be an, an extra expense. I have no problem with you expanding the uh, the Trader Joe's or building the other building and having the access on on Dalewood. So we're not taking away your right as a landowner to build um, and to expand on your property. You know, to me, you know, I. I just have always felt, and I've, I've been consistent for, for at least a couple of years on this. I haven't you know, changed my mind. I, I really feel that having any access on North Washington is, is not in the interest of, of the community. I think you're changing the whole character of, you know, of the community, and I think it's, you know, it, it's going to generate more traffic and you know, more problems for people who live there. So I would, much prefer, I would be much happier uh, if we could have worked out a, a compromise that St. Francis suggested, where you you, you build, uh, we open up the Dale, but you know we did what the police the police chief said that he could live with that. You don't have to uh, widen the road or spend money on on North Washington, and you know I think that it could work out nicely, and it's a compromise, and you know I feel that the community would be a, a, would be more supportive and appreciative and. You know, to me, it's it's give and take. I mean, but, but it, was, it was my understanding that your compromise was these. To the microphone. No, I'm just I'm just giving you. Uh, uh, okay. I'm just giving you my. Uh, you know, my it, it, Greg Petrillo answered that. So, because what I'm really nervous about is that you're gonna do you you're gonna feel that okay we're gonna build an access road that's an emergency road and then you and then sometimes. You know, you figure out oh, we're going to do it. We're going to widen it, and then a, a year later, or two years later, or three years later, you're going to come in and say, you know, could you just open it up, or could you open but, up a little bit? And I don't really want. I want to reduce that possibility from taking place. But my but my response was about the draft resolution that was put in front of me on Tuesday, which right. allowed me to have access, uh, emergency access on Washington on on the draft resolution drafted by right. the board. And that, that draft resolution did also include the improvements on North Washington Avenue. And while we had requested a change to that to not require those improvements unless it was opened up for the, the commercial traffic, um, the applicant um, expressed a few minutes ago that he is willing to implement those improvements. But you on understand North that the, there's a very the, strong possibility is, that it's not going to be used for anything other than an emergency. Because I don't want you to think that, I don't want to mislead you, and I don't want you to think there's like a glimmer of hope that it's going to, that, you know, six months later or a year later or three years or five years later that it's going to be a regular access road because it's not going to, be, you know, the probability is it's not going to be. Uh, so, you know, so, I mean, you know, I think the police chief feels that, you know, one access is, is enough and that that's the probability. So you may be spending all this money um, hoping that the road is eventually going to be opened up when it's not going to be opened up, and that that's basically you know my, that's basically you know my, you know my you know my feeling. If if you want to build, an which, which is why I asked for the option to build it or not. I mean, I still have a site plan to, to or cost to go through and and to right. really understand what I, what my expenditures are. And in, but if you in, want in, the again, option in, and it's a super majority, then I then no no I the option to open it. I want the option to either build it or not, depending on once I go through my costing and, and finish out you know my, my plans. Because in the draft resolution, it allowed me to have emergency access, which is what you guys gave no, me on Tuesday. No, but if you have the emergency access and it only could be overturned I, by I, a super I, majority, I understand that. That's that's fine with me. But as long but, as you but I want the option of whether or not I, I build it. Right, right, but right. The only again, the only issue I have is I'm basically. I don't want you to have to spend a penny more on this than you than you have. You know, that's I what he's saying. And I, I, you won't build it. I, I would like the option to make that determination. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's but, fine but, with but, me as long as you have the to issue. The issue here is it's either needed for safety or it's not needed for safety. Yeah. But you're you're saying you'll take the responsibility of whether or not it should be open for safety as opposed to our police chief. We reject that. I'm not sure. Is that no, what you're no? Is that is that what you're saying? Or are you saying if the police chief says? 
that it's necessary. Well, you're saying it's his option. But we, so his, not, not to his, no, option, his option to build, to build it to as build. an emergency driveway with the North Washington Avenue improvements, which is addresses the last line of the police chief's comments relative to emergency mm -hmm. access, or the other option is for him to not build it at all. Right. Um, but that, it that still decision, would not be open, right. But that decision would not be solely predicated on what you think. It would, it would be predicated upon what the police chief recommends at the time. Right? As far as opening that it? Would be, yeah. That would yeah. be yeah. later yeah. on. Yeah. Right, later on. That's later on. Later on. Right. 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 But maybe, maybe, that, maybe now we're clarifying that. If that's, but this, is, also, this is what the, he means. Right. It's not only the police chief because it's the police chief and the supermajority right. of the town board. Uh, that's, that part's saying, understood. You're saying that you yeah. wanted to put in an emergency exit or entrance if, if you want to have it there, if you want. But the chief says if you, I, you, I, if you do that, you need the improvements. So you're saying you're willing to do the improvements to have that emergency access there. Correct. Pr yeah. Prior to, to getting the draft, resolution right. I thought we were the resolution was going to say I had access and that's what we were voting on right and that obviously is not what happened and there is now a condition that says I can only use Washington Avenue as an emergency access and all I'm saying is okay if I'm willing to accept that that condition that I'd like the option to decide once I go through my cost on whether or not I build it mm -hmm. um, and I understand the police chief's view but that doesn't mean that wouldn't be a benefit to the center additional access emergency access uh, it might not be, in his view, needed at this point, but that doesn't, I mean, how is... And he, and he also access? qualified in his, in his last sentence, he said that, um, he said that the, um, we're not in favor of emergency access via North Washington without roadway improvements to North Washington yeah. Avenue. So and since which, he which is now willing to do, willing to do right. those... So it which, was my understanding, the reason why we did not vote, the reason why we held this over is because you did not want to make those improvements. No, no, I wanted the option. And I was trying to be very clear about that. That I, I, it's not that I don't want to make them; it's that I need the option to to, to make that decision. And last week he was so, uh, he I, was. I don't ahead. understand this. So, your proposal last week wasn't to put in the emergency ingress and egress, but without. No, the proposal the should have been. Improvements? It, should, it should have been if we weren't going to if we weren't going to put it in that we wouldn't do the road improvements. It was my understanding you were going to put in the emergency. You're willing to put an emergency exit, but not road improvements no. at this time. No, no that's not. Actually, last week it was. It was last that's, week was okay, either not to not do any right. to okay. not do any improvements okay. or to build an emergency driveway, but to not do the North Washington Avenue right. road improvements right. unless in the future it was opened up to the full um, right. use with the limited turns. At this point, he is acquiesced further on this application to the point yeah. where he would do those road improvements along with the construction of the emergency uh, access driveway at his option if he would either do both the emergency access and the road improvements or do nothing there at, at this time this, this is what his so option now what you now what you're willing to do is to do the road improvements and the emergency access with the understanding that it may remain as an emergency correct. access correct but he basically but is not I, committing to do it. He, you want to, to look it, at the cost and then you'll decide later on. No, 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 no. That's, I think that's off the table now. No, no, no. no. I think, I, I don't know. I need to be clear on this sure. now because you're saying you you want to look at the costs of this and you want to make the final decision whether or not to make the, the, um, the emergency. Um, Correct. Uh, under your conditions. So Under our conditions. Yes. No, I understand that, but you will decide that once you figure out what your, your costs, costs are. Right. So you could not, you could end up not building. Correct. That, that's just, right. so okay, I, I'm, I'm no, clear. I think we're, okay. we're conflating proposals. But, but if I did build it, I would adhere to your conditions. No, I understand okay. that. No, I understand that. The first, the first proposal, let's call it A, was the one, um, like last Wednesday night, um, that you would build those driveways. Washington driveway would remain emergency um, emergency only except if recommended by the police chief and with a supermajority of the town board. Dale would be, would be open with the limited access that we have talked about in the past and the turns um, and then you would build. That's option A. Option B, which was your option, which was presented to us, uh, which is why we held it over so we could have discussion mm -hmm. was that you did not want to do the road improvements on North Washington Avenue, but you would put in the driveway. Option B. 
option C is, um, option C is that we don't do anything with North Washington Avenue, but we open up Dalewood, the side where the building is going to be. Just a clarification on option B is that uh, it was to have the option of building or not building the emergency. At your discretion. At our discretion, correct. At right. his At discretion. Your discretion. Right. But if you did build, it would be without the road improvements. Correct. That's right. Um, I think it's fair to say option B is not an acceptable option. Okay. Um, and so we're down to A and C. Well, no, now there's a D. There's a D. Now there's a D because he's just said if he, if he builds the driveway, He'll, he'll do, do the, the road improvements. improvements. Yep. If he doesn't build the driveway, he won't do the road improvements. No, that's A. A is he does the road improvements. D has the option of not doing any At improvement. All. Right. D has the option of not doing <laughs> any oh, not doing improvement. <laughs> <laughs> so we, have not we could call it A prime. <laughs> Garrett weigh in? Garrett weigh in? Yeah, no. I, the only thing I would say, if, and this is sort of a new idea, if Emergency access is, is constructed, is, is approved to be constructed on Dalewood, I'm sorry, <laughs> North Washington Avenue. The only other consideration I would add is that um, the applicant not be required to take down the trees to clear site distance because the whole uh, impetus for that was to uh, assist people making a left out of the site. And if it's emergency only, you don't need that. So you would actually retain a whole line of trees um, if it were emergency only. So that sort of softens the impact to neighborhood character in the A scenario. I just wanted to add that. I think that's the only thing I, can, I would add at this point. That's a double prime. That's <laughs> a, so that's not in the right of uh, No. But if, if it goes that direction, I think it, it's wise to do that because I don't see the need to take down those trees. Um, there's, there's and no it could still do the improvements of the roadway with leaving the trees there. No. No, the trees would have some to come of them, down. Just, no. but, but less, not yeah. not the whole row of oh, North right. Washington the trees related to, to facilitate a left turn out. I have an issue with that either. Mm -hmm. Preserves more trees. It's just yeah. that's all. I don't think I have a problem with option D or A prime. Well, whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever we Double have. prime with the with the tree option. Right. So right. That would, double. So that would that would give the applicant the the option of either having an ac emergency access, which would include um, improvements on North Washington, mm -hmm. or when you check your cost and it's prohibitive, then you don't do anything. Correct. Let me ask a question when you're talking about the trees. Um, right. you know, yeah. Let's say um, the police chief um, would recommend mm -hmm. You know, six years from now, that um, during the holidays, um, you know, it be opened up on a limited basis. Would the trees have to come down if it's open, even for a limited basis? Because, um, uh, you know, when we were talking about the emergency access, uh, I mean, could, could, yeah. could we put a condition that there could be no um, additional traffic other than emergencies? Um, you know, if the trees are uh, not removed, not removed, because because you know the thing is, if you open it up on like a Saturday afternoon for an hour or two, you know, then then the trees should be removed. Yeah, no, if it's opened up to allow lefts out, the trees need to come down to facilitate uh, right. sight distance. Right. Um, but that's a given. But I don't think we no, need to add any language in that. I'm sort of respect. wondering if that should be you know spelled out because you know. Oh, absolutely. I, th I think I think we should have put the I think we should have modified it saying that if uh, that under no circumstances could um, this be used for anything other than emergencies, as long as the trees are up. I think that I think that should be spelled out. I, I, well, but that implies you take down the trees; it's no longer emergency. Either. No, no, but I'm just talking about. Um, I don't want to. Uh, I, I, I you know because what happens is that. Years from now, you know, people are going to forget this conversation. They're going to forget the controversies and all that. And you know, I think it's, it, I think we have to be very clear that you know, the trees stay. You know, you know, we there has to be enough additional. I mean, before 
we would even entertain, or the police chief would even entertain doing anything, you know, the, the road would have to be widened. Uh, the, the road will be widened. Well, that's going to be done. Gonna no, be but done. That's that's all the done. trees and everything. Just trees we're talking about. Right. Yeah. yeah. The trees so would I'll, only come I'll, out if the gate I'll is build removed. It, right. I'll build it as asked. I'll take the trees down. No, I'm just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a discomfort level with D or A prime until I speak with the police chief and the uh, town attorney and executive session. Okay. Okay. So we'll go in, come out. Well, no, first we're going to get the chief. Oh, yeah. Good morning, James Veneruso with Veneruso, Curto, Schwartz and Curto, the attorney for the applicant. I've, um, uh, Rich has briefed me on the history and I think in terms of uh, what the applicant has done in terms of trying to work with the board over over two years is, is, is frankly admirable. And I think one thing I have a concern about, and I think you're, we're moving in the right direction to come up with a compromise, but one concern I have is that um, with, with the supermajority vote, uh, I understand, Mr. Supervisor, where you're going to. You're in effect binding a future board. There may be changed circumstances down the road. Many, most municipalities would have the police chief and maybe a planning person involved with whether the road gets opened or not. But I understand where you're coming from. Having said that, it then, you're making a leap, it seems to me, to then say, okay, we're gonna bind a future board to, uh, for example, with, with, with the trees. Um, circumstances may change, it may, you know, we don't know six years from now so if you put in a resolution, that board, even talking about a supermajority, that board would have to be convinced at that time about the trees, for example. So my point is, if you put in the resolution um, further about trees and whether or not, six, you know, you made the comment six years from now, a board may decide they don't know about the controversy. But at that time, a board is a board. Uh, and the board's making that decision. We're not saying you have to, uh, do what most municipalities do, and that is in, in a situation like this, the determination for access would be made solely by the police chief, maybe in conjunction with planning, for example. You're, you're taking that further step, we understand why, and we're willing to say, okay, we understand it, but when we go, to, for example, with this type of um, minutia about uh, that, you know, at that time, again, change, circumstances can change six years from now. So. If you would consider the fact, for example, with these trees, that we not deal with that in a resolution, uh, in that f I don't think that's the proper format for it. The only reason why you know I disagree is I feel first of all yeah. I want people in the community. I mean we we are compromising. You know, a few years ago I voted against the whole application, as you know, um, and you know I, the thing is if it was up to me there would be. No, it would have just been the, uh, the Trader Joe's. So I think I've been, you know, a lot and, you know, compromised a lot. But I also feel strongly that, you know, I want the community to see that there's no gimmicks and that, you know, we're really serious about it. 99% of the votes of this board are unanimous. And 99% of the votes of, you know, most town boards and legislatures are, you know, are unanimous. If the police chief would say, uh, this is absolutely essential for public safety. It's unlikely that the board is going to go against the police chief. But you know, I, I, uh, because we want to do what's right for you know, what's right for the community and what, what's safe. But I, I really feel that you know, I, I want people in the community, the people who have been um, expressing concerns about North Washington, you know, to realize that you know, we're sincere. We want to. We, you know, we, we want to balance the interests of the developer and landowner with the interests of, uh, uh, of the, the property owners and the residents who live there and who are really nervous about that street being commercialized with a lot, a lot more traffic. You know, uh, so, so to me, it's really the, the supermajority is designed to 
have people have a little bit more confidence in, you know, in the government. You have people at every level of government, the national, the state, local, county, people don't trust government and everybody feels there's these deals and, uh, and you know, we say one thing and then, you know, citizens could never beat the system, you know, citizens always lose. And I want people to realize that we're, we're, we're trying to treat everybody fairly. That's, that's basically, you know, my, you know, my philosophy. And, and I feel that if, um, you know, if the, the more you, you're, the, there's give and take, even from your side, I think the more the community would be um, receptive to, uh, you know, to working with you. I remember years ago, um, um, when Mark Tenzer was alive, you did a, you know, you repaved the road and um, you repaved the parking lot and you offered to put people up in hotels. Uh, you know, due to, we were working on that, you know, over, you know, overnight, which is something that no other developer has done anywhere. But it basically made people feel, feel good because they felt that, you know, you cared, you were being receptive. Only a few people took you up on it, but at least you made the offer, which nobody, no other landowner has ever, has ever done. I think, you know, these goodwill gestures buy you more in the long run. Just in my, and, and to comment on that, I mean, I've made, a lot of concessions on this project. No, I understand. Um, and to the point where I made a concession on basically on your condition, but I wanted the ability to build it or not. That's right, really and to me, and all. I don't. I don't. I don't have a. To be honest, I don't have a problem with. You know, the thing is, if there's a supermajority, uh, because I believe that the board basically usually votes on these things unanimously anyway. I don't think it's a, a real big thing, but I think it's sort of like a gesture. Um, uh, saying to the public that, you know, we're really serious about keeping this as an emergency access unless the police chief, you know, feels very strongly that it can't, it can't be, op you know, it has to be opened up. Uh, but, you know, we're going to go, we're all going to yeah. go into this with the understanding that it's not going to be used as a, uh, as a, as an access. Uh, I'm willing and, to and accept you know the supermajority. I'm just yeah. asking for the option to, to build it or not, which really. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with that. Right. Thank you. So we just have to as amended. Or? Well, no, no Francis no. still wants to talk he to the chief. He wants to talk right? to the chief and, chief the, chief the, and the oh, town okay. attorney. So he's not. The chief, is the chief not available? He's, he's in a he's board in a, meeting. In a board meeting. Oh, okay. So well, we'll wait later, just a little while. Is he able well, to uh, participate by right, by phone? Later in the meeting. We can just yeah. We can yeah. We can always do whatever else is on the agenda. Mm -hmm. right? See if yeah. the chief is available. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay.